Nathan Judah, this is Wolf Supporter Tim Spears and wow, absolutely stunning way to start off the brand new season. Wolves in Austria, pre-season tour 2017-2018. Tim, how are you feeling? Great to be here. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, great to be back. I've missed you. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nine. nine. Um, not much has happened, I guess, since we last spoke. Nah. Not well, really. New manager. Quite a couple of months. New players, new staff, new hair, new era. It's it's crazy, isn't it? It is absolutely crazy. The new hair, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. A bit mental, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been, um, you know, we were we were hoping for a bit of a quiet, quiet summer, but it hasn't turned out that way. Well, we're on a holiday been, straight away. It's been uh, it's been very exciting. I mean, to get seven players in already. Fair, yeah. Fair play. Complete opposite to last year, getting all the players in early. Everything's, uh, you know, Nuna's working the players hard. It's all, it's all, it's all geared up for, well, hopefully for August the fifth when it all, when it all kicks off. That, that's when it all happens. Um, I know a lot of people want to know who's made the trip, who hasn't made the trip, what what connotations does it have? Can you let us know definitively who is here? Finally, I can. Go on, man. Thank you. It's taken a couple of days. Uh, we haven't had many questions on Twitter. No, 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 no nobody's nobody's really been asking no, about it. Not at all. Uh, no, it's. Um, but we didn't know. I mean, I mean, Wolves didn't know, you know, to a certain extent, did they? With, with the people coming from different areas. And no, stuff like and that. you know, we haven't seen the squad uh, until this morning. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a strange one. Wolves have, Wolves have put a list out in the past. They've chosen not to this year. Mm -hmm. Whether that comes directly from Nuno, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, no. The other headline is that Helder Costa's not here. He's out for two months. We understand. Yeah. Uh, with an ankle problem, which he's had surgery on. So it's the same problem he had last season, which kept him out from April the 1st, I think it was onwards, roughly. Um, so they've tried tried to fix it. He was training on his own last week. Do, you know, looks a little bit, running around a little bit gingerly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, whatever they've tried hasn't worked. So um, they've had to... that's frustrating to last, you know resort, I mean? last resort of surgery, which is which is so frustrating for everybody. Mm -hmm. But yeah, two months. In theory, he'll only miss six, six league matches. Okay. So... I mean, ankles it, are difficult to say. Gonna, He's got to come back yeah, and get his strength well, it's gonna back. It's going to take a while to get back because obviously, like I say, he hasn't played since March. Mm -hmm. But um, so that's a little bit of concern. But anyway, that's that's the kind of headline news. Ruben Neves is here. He didn't yes. travel. Didn't travel. Yes. Yes. He, he didn't travel with the squad uh, yesterday. Uh, he's come out, travelled out this morning. I believe he's been at home sorting out all of his affairs, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other standouts, John Dada Babarsin isn't here. Uh, understand he's been given a, um, an extended summer break, two, yeah. two years of continuous football, as, as you know he said many times last at the end of last season. He was season. shattered, wanted to be fair. He was broken, mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, he um, and he was away with Iceland in June as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, extended break for him. Hopefully he'll be back fit and fresh. Makes sense. Jordan Graham, he's not here. Understand just just a slight injury problem. Not not sure the full details to be honest, but nothing. Um, Nothing, not, nothing massively un untoward about that. Yeah. Um, we're talking about Michael Zara was here of, of the two that mm -hmm. were out all the last season with the Cruciate Needle. So great, great to see Amazing Michael Amazing to see him back. Yeah, he's um, going to be key this year. So who else isn't here? There are quite a few aren't here. Dominic Orff is not here. That's the big one, isn't it? I guess you know um, what I mean. Apart from yeah. no, no injury to as report. As far as I understand, you know, he was out of favour a lot last season. No, no injury to report. Uh, Phil Fosuwe as well, the other new signing mm -hmm. defender. He, he's not here. He was carrying a slight injury when he joined. Uh, a few weeks ago, and then others have just been left out. So Lee Evans isn't here. Mm -hmm. Ethan Ebanks Landell's not here. Prince Onyega, he's out in the cold. Um, Which is surprising. I thought he might he might have been here actually. Prince Onyega. You know, but Jack Price is here because Jack, you know Jack Jack Price was um, was on his way out. Yeah. You know, we were told he'd been allowed to leave, but mm -hmm. obviously Nuno's come in, had a look at him. Likes what he sees. Likes what he sees, I guess. So he's here. Uh, Andy Lonergan's not here mm -hmm. either. Um, and Morgan gives white he he had an injury at the end of last season so mm. he's he's getting back to full fitness as well but you know uh, the, the door closes to others and opens for more i mean sylvan deslanders is here he's a shock yeah. inclusion yeah um as back up to barry douglas at left back connor rona still here another youngster brighton and bakari's here as well um i tell you who's here big willy bolly big whip what a what big honestly when you get to see him Live in front of you, he is massive. He looks Mas like a wrestler. Massive Willy Bolly. Massive Willy Bolly. Huge. Ridiculous. Huge. Uh, and also, who's here? Yeah. Not not quite as tall. Go on. Jeff Shee's here. Oh, Jeff Shee, our friend Jeff. Jeff Shee. Yeah. Um, I gather he's going to be here for, for most of the trip, so he was here obviously in training this morning. And, and um, since, since we last spoke as well, he, he's obviously moved and, and moving to Wolverhampton yeah, now. Yeah, so he's, he's full time Wolverhampton now, chairman, um, very much taking more of a hands on role in everything. Um, so it's, it's great to see him here, you know, it's just 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 um, a, a positive influence and, and, and a vision for the rest of the squad to see, you know, yeah. the chairman's here, keep, keeping an eye on everything, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, great to see he's out for the week. How important is it, is it that he isn't, you know, there on a day-to-day -day basis as well? Uh, more I than think you? so, he sees what, see, sees what goes right and what goes wrong, I mean, he, he admitted himself he was only kind of committing 40 to 50% of his workload to the job last year, mm. and now, 
that, that can't be a good thing. If, you, mm. if you're chairman, you're making all the decisions, you've got to be as fully informed as possible, mm. which he now will be, so it's got to be a good thing. We took a few pictures down at training, I saw him on his phone. I think he was, did you see the text he was doing to, to George? 25 goal a season striker, please. He was calling him Bellicophobia, wasn't he? But <laughs> allegedly. But I mean, you know, I mean, that, should, that, should point out there's nothing in that, by no, the way. No, nothing in that. But no. the Bellicophobia rumour bill's been going for a few weeks. Yeah, but I oh, the euphobian one. He's, he's way out of. Um, He's way out of Wolves. Oh no, the the Mendes stuff. That was that, that was, was joking about. <laughs> the uh, he's way out of Wolves. His price range is there's okay. Nothing, there's nothing. Well, there. I guess they spent 15 million on Nevis as well. So that's yeah, and he, he wouldn't want to drop to Championship. He's mm -hmm. in he's in Bournemouth's plan, so it's mm -hmm. just it's just a non-starter. So from your point of view, with the recruitment they've done so far, yeah. are you are you thinking just the striker that's needed, or maybe one or two? Do you more? know, it's really interesting the way they've done it. I mean, they build it from the back. They brought in a keeper mm -hmm. and five, oh, a lot of defenders and five defenders and and a, and a deep line midfielder in in Nevis. And you enter that Bath and Hawes, and you know. Yeah, absolutely. Doherty's here. But they have got good firepower up, up front. I mean, from what I understand, it'd be really interesting to see in tomorrow's game, which we'll get onto in a bit, but um, Nuno certainly considering playing three at the back. So that would potentially mean um, Costa and Cavalero, in theory, either side of a striker up front. So you've got Dicko, you've got Budvarsson, you've still got Mason, you've got Inubakari as well. Mm -hmm. um, That's a Joe Mason's here as well, yeah. Joe Mason's here as mm -hmm. well. So, but no, it's, the, the recruits were really just building from the back, basically. Yeah. He's, like I say, he's brought in five defenders so far. We're expecting him to sign another left back there after Philip Heiser mm -hmm. uh, from Germany. Um, so, got plenty of cover then. In the back and the keeper as well, so yeah, absolutely. But um, but this is what we kind of I guess expect from Nuno teams to be organised, defensively disciplined. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, they've got the firepower. They've got Costa, they've got Cavalera, they've got Graham, they've got Zyra, they've got Marshall. You know, Nebes is creative. Yeah, there's a lot of creativity there. There's this likes of Conor Ronan, Morgan Gibbs, White, and then like I said, you've got Dicko, you've got Mason, you've got Bud Varson, you've got Inu Bakari. You know, there wasn't a huge amount wrong with Wolves last <laughs> with Wolves last year. I know they had finished fifteenth in the end, but you know. I, 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 I don't think they need too many more signings here to, to have a, a very, very good squad. But yeah, obviously... That big striker. You need, you need someone who's going to be on that, that six-yard box who's just going to, you know, who's going to swarm around exactly. their goal scrounging and just nick 20 exactly. goals. Exactly. And as we said last season, you know, we fully expect Nua Dicko and John Daddy Bovarsson to have much better seasons this season. Correct. So you've got to take that into account as well. Yeah. You can't say, let's get rid of these guys and no. try somebody else. No. You can't be signing 15 players and getting rid of 15 every summer. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, they do, need, they do need a striker to come in and I'm sure that'll be... They've got two months to do it, basically. So, so I, th I, th I think basically they're waiting to get the Nevis deal out of the way yeah. so they know how much money they've spent on him and how much money they've got left to spend. Because obviously, there's not a bottomless pit of money. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll see what's left over. They're going to be organised. They're going to be fit as well. I mean, they've got a schedule there. Nuno's yeah, got yeah. on fighting fit. <coughs> yeah, um, so it's, it's, it's dub double training most days we gather. Training on match days as well. So yeah, they've been, been worked really hard. Mm. Um, um, <laughs> So certainly, the guys who've been here at Wolves won't be used to that. Um, whether well, a little bit under Zenga. I mean, the, the, he had quite a, a few extra bit. sessions, but not, I guess, not as yeah, intense as this. It's mostly more no days off under Zenga. So, so whether whether Neves and Bolly are, are used to this is just what he does. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll soon find out. But um, certainly a grueling schedule, yeah. Um, and tomorrow night, I guess, is the first time we, we see some of these guys in action. Yeah. So, so six of the seven new signings are here. Um, obviously, Nuno as well. Nuno's first game in charge. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, might be playing three at the back. Great, great opposition in terms of Werder Bremen. Werder Bremen, yeah. Um, Mid-table Bundesliga club. Uh, I'm not sure how far down the line they are in terms of fitness because mm -hmm. the Bundesliga starts a couple, of, a couple of weeks after the championship. Okay. So Wolves, in theory, should already be ahead of them in terms of fitness, even though they've only been back in training for a couple of weeks. So what you're saying is a disaster if they don't win? <laughs> yeah, Nuno out if they lose, <laughs> basically. Out. Um, but yeah, Max Cruz is their star player. Um, Good name. And they've just signed a guy from Albion as well, a Chinese striker, I yes, or yes. midfielder. Yeah. So he'll, he'll be getting. Don't put me on the spot. He'll be getting booed by the Wolves fans <laughs> that are coming over. But yeah, obviously, we're looking forward to seeing the Wolves fans as well. Plenty Lo coming. Lots due to arrive today and tomorrow. Okay. More coming for the weekend. So yeah, I mean, the, you know, they'll, they'll be impressed by what they find here. Stunning weather, stunning scenery. Oh, I mean. Um, great facilities for everybody. And. Um, should be a good test. Of course, Absolutely, so. can't, can't wait. Yeah. Um, plenty more to come as well. We've obviously got um, our tour diary that's going to be online every single morning. We're going to have videos. Um, we'll be at the game, obviously, doing plenty of videos. We're going Podcasts. to have plenty. Podcast is coming back. Uh, a bit of announcement about that shortly, but that should be um, ready to go on Thursday. So plenty of to come. Make sure you stay with us at expressandstar.com.